Hello, I'm James from Merlin Archery and today we're going to have a quick look at how we balance a recurve bow. The first thing to look at is the top to bottom balance. We're not going to balance it in the middle of the bow, which is here where the focus of the grip is. We're going to balance it where the pressure point is, which is just below it. So if I can balance that on my finger there. This is easier said than done as the front of the bow slopes slightly. So that balances front to back and top and bottom on that point there, just below the centre of the bow. The next point to look at is the front back balance between the long rod and the back rods. This is sort of personal preference location. Jim, whose bow I've picked up, is balanced just in front of the grip, which is the current normal location. Lots of people are going for a further back center of mass now. If we were three or four years ago, we'd have been looking about out here somewhere. <laughs> the other direction to balance it in is left right. So if I put my fingers in the middle of the limbs, you'll notice that the bow is balanced left and right. This has been achieved by putting additional weight on the left hand rod on this right hand bow in order to counterbalance the sight and the window, which is where the bulk of the mass of a bow is. So to balance the bow in this direction, you're going to want to add either mass to the top if it's leaning like that, mass to the bottom or onto the rods themselves if it's top heavy. To balance the front back position, in order to gain the, the centre of mass further forward, you add more weight to the long rod and take it off the back. To get it further back, you add more onto the back rods and take it off the front. If there's any uh, questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.